Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome to day four of this week's devotions. Uh, the last couple of days, we've been walking through scripture and taking a look at some people uh, in the Bible who have had moments of just incredible faith. I'll remind you that on Tuesday, we talked about Peter in the moment where Jesus calls him to walk on water. And, and Peter responds and, and kind of has this moment where his trust is taken to a place where it's without borders. Then yesterday, we took a look at the life of Beniah, and we, we talked about the moment when he went into a pit with a lion on a snowy day, and, and just talked about the fact that, as Batterson says, Beniah chased the lion, and he ran towards the roar, and how we are called to do the same thing as we follow Christ. Today, I want to take a look at someone who experienced something that I think all of us in this season need to experience. I, I think we are in a season where People are just growing tired. They're growing weary. Um, they're kind of exasperated, and they've they've been doing this for several weeks, a couple months almost. And and you know we don't know when the end is going to happen. We don't know you know as things begin to open up, what that's going to look like, and what kind of guidelines there are going to be, and and all those things. And I just kind of think we're in a season where people are growing tired. And I want to take a look at a man, and his name is Eleazar. And we find him in Scripture. If you don't know who he is, it's okay. We're going to talk briefly about him. Um, he's in 2 Samuel chapter 23, and we're going to be in verse 10. And, and here's what it says. It says, he, talking about Eleazar, he rose and struck down the Philistines until his hand was weary. And his hand clung, some of the translations say his hand clave to the sword. And the Lord brought about a great victory that day. And the men returned after him only to strip the slain. Now, I want to give you some context. So in this situation, everyone had essentially fled with the exception of Eleazar. He understood that someone had to stand up to the Philistines and it was his time to fight. And so he takes on these Philistines and just as a mighty warrior, he slays them. And it says that he had grown so weary that his hand literally freezes to the sword. I want to remind you that yesterday we talked about Benaiah. And we talked about the fact that he had this encounter with an Egyptian man and the Egyptian man was carrying a spear and Benaiah had a club and, and Benaiah ends up kind of wrenching the spear away from the Egyptian man and killing him with it. For Eleazar in this, in this situation, there was no getting the sword out of his hand. Despite how weary he had become, despite how long he had fought, despite how tired he was, he didn't quit. And his grasp on the sword became increasingly tighter. As I read that, that passage, I'm I'm just so enamored by the fact that no matter how long the conflict went on, the, the grasp on the sword became firmer. You know, there's something that happens to people in the middle of conflict. There's something that happens to people in the middle of a situation like this where they, they either fight or they flight. And for Eleazar, that meant fighting no matter what it cost. You know, I, as I think about this, I think about a marathon runner that just expels all of the energy that they have. And the minute they cross the finish line, they just fall to the ground because they have no energy left. And that's the picture that I think we see here with Eleazar is he's been fighting for so long and he has been waging a war so much that his hand is frozen to the sword, probably from blood and the cold and it freezing. And, and he's just kind of got the, the claw going on and, and he can't let go of his sword. And it, it makes me wonder this. In this season, are you growing weary? Are you feeling tired? Do you feel like you have absolutely nothing left? There's no more fight in you. Do you feel like you're doing all the right things and you're just not seeing the fruit of it because of the circumstances? I want to read to you Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, and it says this. It says, And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. Eleazar didn't give up. Eleazar, he grew incredibly weary, but he continued to fight. You know, the longer the season has gone on, the more weary people have become. You know, I think of small business owners, of teachers, of parents, of first responders, of all these people who are just kind of feeling tired of this season and ready for things to get back to normal. People that feel like in this season, I am doing everything I can. I'm breaking my back to just survive during the season. I'm trying to stay focused on Christ and I'm just tired. You know, one of the things that we can that we can do to continue doing good and to continue making sure that we are sowing things for Christ is to simply set our minds on things above. We need to make sure that he is the singular focus. In Ephesians chapter 6, it talks about putting on the full armor of God. And it's this hedge of protection, uh, which I would recommend doing that at the start of every day. And if you go in Ephesians chapter 6, you'll read all about it. But I want to land in, in verse 17. 
And it talks about the full armor of God. And then in verse 17, it talks about the sword of the spirit. And the sword of the spirit is the word of God. And I think it's interesting that for Eleazar, his hand clung to the sword. It was his weapon that helped him achieve victory. And then at the end of that passage, it says the Lord brought about a great victory that day. And I believe it's because though he grew weary, he clung to his weapon. And then in Ephesians chapter six, verse 17, we see that the sword of the spirit is the word of God. And so I have to ask you, are you clinging to the scripture in this season? No matter how weary you have become, are you finding yourself clave to it? As scripture talks about Eleazar and the sword. You know, we, we choose not only what we cling to in this season, but also how we're going to let the conflict impact our grasp. Because we have an option, right? We can either drop the sword and stop fighting and just kind of give up because we're so weary, we're so tired, we have fought for so long that we just have nothing left. Or like Eleazar, we can cling to it so tightly that our hand becomes frozen to it and we will accept nothing less than victory. When Eleazar clung to the sword, God brought about great victory. We will never experience victory unless we clave our hands to the word of God. If we are not constantly clinging ourselves to the sword of the spirit, we will never achieve victory. And so as you go today, I want to encourage you, put on the full armor of God. And like Eleazar, cling to the word no matter how weary you get. Because if you will, as Galatians 6, 9 says, in due season, we will reap, but we can't give up. We can't quit fighting. We can't grow weary of doing good. The one thing we can do is we can clave ourselves to the word of God. And so I hope that as you guys go, whether you're watching this first thing in the morning and this is your, your morning pick me up and it's part of your morning routine, or maybe you're watching it at the end of the day and it's your time of winding down, I want to encourage you, don't grow weary. Don't grow weary. Continue fighting. Fight the good fight. Cling yourself to the spirit of the sword, or the, the sword of the spirit, rather, and allow the word of God to penetrate every part of who you are. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.